What is up guys, it's Ruben from Where2.host And today we'll be doing something rather special What we're going to be doing is taking a look at website builders That's right, website builders So how it's going to work is we are going to take a look at them We're going to play around with them, we're going to make some stuff And then after all of that we've gone through pretty much all the features We're going to say alright, so these are the advantages these are the limitations and then from there we can know okay so from all that pros cons you get the idea and uh, today in particular we're going to be taking a look at a pretty much an industry standard really uh, it's one it's a website builder that's used by site builder ehost ipage you're going to take a look at that one and then we're going to go from there and we're going to mark out all those pros and cons so without any further i further ado let's do this Testing, one, two, three, testing. <laughs> All right, cool. So we are here on Site Builder, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new site, pick a template, and from there we're going to take a look at the website builder. But before we do that, I have to mention, right? So this website builder is actually technology that's been used quite quite widely used, if I can put it that way. Um, we've got iPage, we've got eHost, there's quite a number of different um, web hosting companies that actually utilize this technology it is a pretty it's a pretty good standard for website builders so i suppose that's why a lot of them are using it um, i'm using site builder today i could honestly have used ehost i could have used ipage you know i'd really i could have chose anyone i just thought it was a little bit more appropriate because builder was in the name and we want to take a look at the website builder so yeah you get the point and then, um, yeah, here yeah, I was actually just playing around a little bit earlier. Uh, I wanted to take a look at a few things and uh, sort of understand what are its limitations, what are its um, advantages and that sort of thing. So I was playing around there a little bit, but um, I still want to do one or two things further. So what we're going to do is, all right, we're going to create a new site. And we're going to get that awesome little, little loading. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Ooh, sorry. First template. First template. Okay. So remember, it's a one, two, three steps. It's a choose your template, build your site, put it live for the world to see. I think I think that was the motto, if I remember correctly. Anyways, um, so moving on. I found the template that I like and the template that I want to use. So travel photography. So we're here on Site Builder's uh, website builder. It's actually, they say it's Site Builder, but it's quite a universal one. I think this website builder just allows you to put your, put your logo in there. First thing we want to take a look at, this is the home page, all right? This is the home page. Then you can go to about, then you can go to gallery, and then each page you can edit individually. See, so here's the about, and then you can go to gallery, contact, the blog. You get the idea. So each one is individual. So there you got your pages. And it's quite easy to deal with the pages. You can even go here and say, listen, I want to hide it in mobile. So don't show mobile. Or, uh, hey, don't show desktop. No, don't. I don't know why you do that. I mean, anyways, not the point. Um, so, yeah, you can uh, edit your stuff. You can create. Uh, there's quite a lot of different things you can do. You can duplicate a page if you just want to, like, swap out a few things. Um, you can really do what you want to do. Uh, you can just rename it. La, 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 la. Okay. See? Now we got color all the And, um... Yeah, so that's kind of the features. We've got to take a look at the elements. Now, this is where I quite like them, okay? Um, I know I know some of you might not agree. And yes, it's a minimal feature, but I like it. It's cool. Check this out, right? So when we scroll down here, look at that. I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm just scrolling. It's going with me. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I like that. Um... If you actually take a look at all the buttons, there's a lot. I can't take you through all of them. Like, we'll be, we'll make like an hour long video. It's just, it's too long. But there's a lot of cool buttons, a lot of different things you can do. Quite a few things. Moving on, we've got the sections. So each page is divided into sections. You've got a header, section A, footer. Um, the whole reason for this is so that if you have section, uh, let's say, for example, header and footer, you can actually use that across all the pages. So you don't have to duplicate the stuff throughout the whole Website. I nearly wanted to say. Oh, website. Yes, that's the correct terminology. Uh, so, yeah, we've got section A, and then that's where you can actually 
edit things you can edit the top but um, just remember this will be if you edit it here it'll be across all the pages and if you take a look at design you can just do your overall color um, I think these these textures have to do with the back here so it creates like these cool little these textures here on the side um, I'm not going to do that uh, how exactly I undo it I have not yet figured out oh boy now I'm in trouble. Oh wait. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> oopsie. Uh, yeah, so you can actually do this quite nice because then you get like these images that are there in the background. It's, I think it's quite nice. Um, mess around with your colors. You can change. Okay, now I want rather this color preset. That one. You get the idea. You can choose all your fonts. Um, for all the websites, so I like this one. Then ah, look at that; it looks quite cool. It looks very photographer-like this font. So you know, probably gonna actually just stick with that. And then you got the textile. There's a lot of things, honestly. Like if I actually take you through every single little detail and explain it, we'll be here for quite a while. Yeah. So what I have to do, what I actually want to go do, is we need to create a standard. All right. In that sense, to create a standard, we have to say that a website builder has to have certain features all right it has to do this it has to do this and with doing that i need to find out how easy was it to do how difficult was it to do how easy have they made it for the user that's what i want to know because honestly like everyone can learn how to to code i mean everyone can do it like if you learn how to do a bootstrap carousel yeah anyone can learn how to do that take some time but they'll learn so but i want to know how what have they done to make it easy for me? That's what I want to know. So that's what I'm going to go check out. I've got a list. I'll take you guys through that list afterwards. But uh, what I'm going to go do right now is actually go create the website. And then I'll bring you back and I'll give you all the feedback you could possibly need to know everything about this site builder. All right. So, cool. I'll bring you guys back. All right. So, we are back. Okay. And um, quite a few events have indeed transpired. One of them being, it's been a few days. Um, two to be exact, I suppose, I suppose that's not a few really, but anyways, not the point. Um, I've actually gone and built an entirely new website as you can see here, um, certainly changed things up quite a bit, and the uh, reason for that is, I started playing with the website and I started seeing different things it can do, what it can, what it can't, um, just a note, it's very little that it can't, to be quite honest, um, anyways, we'll get over to that now now. Um, basically, I thought, okay, well, this is a this is a standard, right? This site builder because it's used so often. But then I thought, okay, well, I can't really compare it to anything because I haven't really played around with the other site builders. So I went and I looked at Weebly, Wix, Web.com, Site123, uh, Build Grid. I went and played around with those as well. And then I thought, I thought now, okay, cool. So I've played with those. I know what they can do, what they can't do. Then I wanted to take a look at this site build and see, okay, how does it compare to the rest? And ultimately, it compares brilliantly. In fact, I don't think anymore. I was originally wanting to say that this is actually the benchmark. But I believe that this exceeds the benchmark exceptionally because this is an amazing site builder. Like, it's really, really amazing. In comparison to what's out there, this thing triumphs. It triumphs hard. And I can imagine why it's used so often. You know, I thought it's used so often because it's like an industry standard, but it's honestly just used so often by different sites because it's just such an amazing piece of technology. So, why is it such an amazing piece of technology? Well, let me answer that. Basically, the freedom is... The ball's in your court, the simplest way to state it. Um, you can do pretty much what you want, how you want, how you need. It's really quite amazing. And there are so many things to do, so many things to choose from. And it's just, oh, it's really cool. I mean, they really went out of their way to make something absolutely amazing. And there's a lot of small things once you actually start playing around with these side builds and you start seeing and realizing, okay, for example, like, something that I saw these the snap parts of the grid like some sites don't even have them and then there's no way to align in comparison with this or maybe you wanted to align let's say the special button here in the middle 
If I can grab it. There you go. See, then I don't know it's in the middle. Then all you have to do is you have to look for that little centerpiece. There's like this little line there. I don't know if you saw it now, but there's like that line there next to the cursor that shows you how far from the center you are. So that's really helpful. You unfortunately, just have to grab it here on the side and then you can see it. Okay, well, there you go. Boom. That's pretty much middle. So yeah, there's a lot of awesome features like that. Um, it does actually tend to come a lot into the smaller things. Um, it's really well done, really well thought through, you know, in so many different aspects. Now, one of the things that I like is that everything, everything is customizable. How it looks, how it feels, how it acts, its size, its what, what, what. Everything is so customizable. It's amazing. For example, right, just take a, split, a button. You can, um, you can add a link to the button, so you can go there, attach link, and you can choose what you want: phone, document, email, URL. You can choose it whether or not you want to open a new tab. So much. Now, that's just a link. You can duplicate. You can bring back forward, send backwards, but what? You know, that's your Z index stuff, which is cool. Um, but then if you go here now, you can change the design. You can entirely change the design, I and mean, you've got here loads of different things that they've pre-made for you and i find that just so cool like they really went out of their way to make like some amazing stuff i mean there's so much it's flipping lagging the screen a bit you know so i just find that so cool like yeah look at that special button boom look how cool this one uh eh, not our color but hey you know what that's a cool design but the color mm, let's change the color easy peasy just go apply we go here and we say style and then we can start playing with the color. And then you get like the coolest stuff ever, you know? Okay, yeah, solid colors, that's the original. You can actually go back here and you can choose gradients now. So you can go, okay, well, I want, uh, let's say this gradient, uh, or where was the one that was actually at? This one. The point being, everything is pretty much customizable. The text in it, you can make it larger. You can change what type it is. You can make it that, you can make it more. There's lots of different fonts you can choose from. You got your border width, you got padding. I mean, everything, the roundness, like it's all just so shadow, glow, inner shadow, inner glow. <laughs> I mean, you can just, you can go ham salad on this thing and just, and also whenever it's pressed or when it's done, whatever, you know, you press it, rolled over, blah, blah, blah. You can have transitions and it's just, there's so much. And then you know what? What if I said, okay, this is uh, this is horrible. What have I done? What have I created? Yeah, just undo, 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 undo. Back, back. There you go. Now we're back. Back to the original nature, the original state. And that's just so cool for me. You know, it's so customizable and. Oh, there's so much and you've got a save history you've got so you got different saves that you've done you say maybe listen i've been editing on this thing for 10 minutes but you know i've totally buggered it up just go back the pages they're very nicely managed very very well thought through you can rename it you can just all the features you need honestly there's sections you can manage each section individually like maybe you want um you know, to hide the section on desktop and the design, oh, you can really, yes, you can go so wild in the design. There's so many things to choose from. There's so many things to do. Now, there's a blog. You can handle your blog. You can see all the different things. You can say, okay, uh, unpublished, publish, favorite. You've got the store. Unfortunately, you need to upgrade for that. But it's still pretty awesome that you can have that and you can sell products and items and there's just so much to do here. There really is. And the elements, the amount of elements there are. Oh boy, oh boy. There's a lot. I mean, just take you through. Yeah, there's just, there's a lot to play. There's a lot to do. See, so yeah, that's part of the upgraded thing. But anyways, yeah, that is one unfortunate aspect. You know, that there are certain things that um, you have to pay for, which I can understand. Um... I definitely, definitely not unhappy about it because I do understand. I mean, bloody hell, they can't give you everything for free. You know, I mean, they've already given you so much to work with here already. To to make a few things, you know, pretty much just the stuff that have to do with e-commerce, but that those stuff you have to pay for. That's not the end of the world. Like that makes sense. 
Anyways, for what these people have given you, you know, this side builder is... It's pretty good. This website builder, sorry. Correction. Website builder. What I, what I like is it's a small feature, but they don't always incorporate it. But you can actually directly edit in mobile. So you see here, now you've got all your stuff and you can directly in mobile edit it and see, okay, you know what, I actually want it to look a little bit different. You know, oh, I see this doesn't actually pan out so nicely on mobile, blah, 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 you know, those sort of things. So you can easily switch, uh, as you see, there's like no lag really, it's really fast, really efficient, quite brilliant indeed. So I just can't complain. I just can't. You know, and I went and I've... And I made this document of all the positives and I was like, okay, yeah, it's this, 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 this. And then the negatives, I'm like, well, you can only do the e-commerce stuff if you upgrade. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I can't see anything else. It's really just so great. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really happy. I can run you through a few of the things. What we did was we said, okay, well, there's a few things that we want every website to be able to do. And that being on all the pages, there must be hero, there must be a link to somewhere, um, there must be a footer. Those on all the pages now, that must appear. And here, there's the footer, there's the header. That's sorted. A carousel slideshow of images. Here we go. Um, then we've got a button to do something. Say hello. Here's yeah, just a special button. We were doing some rollover stuff that you can add to it, animations. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Animate, you can pretty much animate everything. Like everything you can animate. I mean, this menu pages, you can animate it. Check it. Animate it. It's now fly in. See, and it flies in like that. You can animate. Uh, I think yeah, you can even animate that. I mean, flipping out. Look at that. Everything is so editable. It's amazing. Anyway, so moving on. Cards. Um, that's when you go to uh, meet the team. I'll show you now those cards that are here. Um, this is just one of the aspects that we're looking at. Um, YouTube, music, files, videos, or a video gallery. I think I can show you. It's got all of it. There's files. Uh, there's music. Uh, there's sound. It's only SoundCloud player, which is not amazing, but it still counts very much so. And then, what is the other one? Oh, files. No files we did. Videos. Yes, there's videos. Yeah, videos, you can uh, you can do YouTube, I believe, also. There was a thing somewhere that I saw. You can also do YouTube, if you want to import that. Um, and then video gallery. I think it's the YouTube use embedded web page, and then you copy that YouTube iframe stuff. But anyways, it's a bit more technical advanced. Contact form, Google Maps, social buttons, it's all here. Uh, if you go, I'm not even bothered to show you, because it is there, trust me, it's there. All right, it's there. Um... Yes, the about us. No, it wasn't that. Let's contact us. Yeah, you see. Yeah, he has a contact thing. He has a uh, Google Maps. He has the social buttons are always yeah somewhere. There you go. Social buttons. Then there's a price comparison table. I put that in somewhere here. Uh, yeah, I think it was in business things that I placed it. Uh, yeah, you see. Yeah. You can add the pricing in here and what what if you want to do some maybe if you had some products you wanted to advertise or show or um, services or whatever you could do that uh, and then the blogs articles we've got the blogs also on top of it, it's a very nice way of managing the blogs it's got a very nice way of managing a lot of things I'm actually gonna run through that now so let me give you a really quick overview all right Okay, as I said, there are loads of elements. Elements are exceptionally customizable. Uh, pretty much everything can be linked. Pretty much everything can be animated. Quite amazing. I mean, honestly, buttons, text, images, shapes, you name it. It could probably be really linked or animated. <laughs> um, there's a great page management. Um, the option to also show mobile or not mobile. I thought that was quite cool. So let's say, for example, the blog. You don't want people on mobile to see that. You just then you can just have a desktop view and then it doesn't show on mobile which is cool you can just you can animate everything you can put a fix to everything you've got the the parallax effect that you can be uh, that you can add on to it the z index it's kind of amazing and crazy nearly mind blowing really but anyways docking you can change the positioning horizontal vertical pretty much everything 
um, the opacity, the inner glow, you can change just so much to everything, and which is awesome. And each element itself can actually be optimized for search engine. So let's go here, more, advanced, and you go check here, I think it's settings, yeah. Then you can, um, for element search engine optimization, you can actually say, no, this is an aside piece or whatever. And then uh, it'll know like, okay, this is, you know, searchable in the search engine or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's page management, blog management, store management, section management. They're all <laughs> implemented with customization, so you can customize everything. Um, like how many blogs you want to show maybe on a page or stuff like that. You can choose a column. Do you want to show it in a grid? Do you want to show it in a row? You get the point. Everything is exceptionally customizable. And... Yeah, honestly, like I was actually looking around here and there was just not a thing that I could not do. There was just nothing that I couldn't do because it was just so amazing. It was honestly not. And we're now to come to the negatives. Yeah, you have to pay for the store, for all the e-commerce stuff. That's it. Like that's about as far as limiting goes with the site builder or the website builder for that matter. So yeah, it's just it's really awesome, really amazing. Love it. And uh, yeah, I would I would definitely recommend it. Like if if you are new, uh, be warned. It, it does take a bit of time to get used to. Um, I'd say you could put away easily two three hours to just absolutely master this thing. But think about it: two three hours to master a website builder. You know, just, just think about that. That's like zero time at all. I mean, they took creating websites, you know, with HTML, having to know a lot of code. And they made it easy. They made it really easy. So, yeah, I'm really happy with them. And um, if I had to give them a score, I know we don't really like, you know, say, okay, oh, they're uh, we're minus one point here for this or... No, but honestly, it's just a 10 out of 10. If I had to think of it, 10 out of 10. Does everything you need. It's really just quite amazing. And I had fun with it. That's, um, that's actually something that I didn't really think about till, uh, till I started really using it a lot. And I started to see that, you know what, this is actually fun. And that's kind of amazing to think that Something that can be so tedious and difficult and challenging and annoying becomes so fun and so nice. I mean, to give you an example, I had the absolute time of my life when playing around with the, the images. So you can go for each image, you can go edit this stuff. And then for each one, you can go and say, okay, well, you know, for this one, I'll actually want this to dock like this or like that. Or you can change it. You can change the fit. You can say original. You can say stretched. You can, there's so much to do, it's not even funny. Anyways, um, so you get the point, and then you can edit it, so you can change, you got this, I think it's from, yeah, the Creative Cloud connected, and there's just so much to do. You can whiten, red eye, draw, splash, text, meme. If there's ever a website builder that gave you all the power, this will be it. Well, that does it for today's review of Website Builder. I hope you guys now have a better idea of what Website Builder you would want to make your website with.